I can't find my culotte. <laughs> you are getting married in the Bahamas? This is fabulous. I always wanted to go to the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. Now, where the hell are my culottes? <laughs> oh. No, we can't. I had a stroke. Luckily, my memories of you were wiped out. <laughs> Anger is like a piece of shredded wheat. You want poetry? You listen to Neil Diamond. You want good advice? You listen to your mother. Maybe you're right. Of course I'm right. You think I got this old by being stupid? Discard already. I'm 80. I'd like to live long enough to see the next hand. Don't need to, Ma. Gin. Oh, you're taking advantage. You know I'm whacked out on blood pressure medicine. Honey, if the medicine bothers you, change the prescription. I like being whacked out. <laughs> Finally, someone she can talk to. I nursed. Your brother was 12 when he stopped. He wanted to come home from school at lunchtime. Nothing left up here. Oh, my. I mean, it's not as if she were my daughter. She's my sister. My sister that I hate. I wish I could give her my kidneys. Let her get up all night. <laughs> because he never calls, he never writes. I only hear from him at Christmas when he sends me a cheddar cheese nativity scene. <laughs> I'm Catholic. I can't spread a wise man on a Ritz cracker. <laughs> I'd give you one of my kidneys, but I'm sure you'd rather have one you can control. <laughs> Thank you, Sophia. Welcome. You're tired. You have absolutely no color. I'm an old white woman. I'm not supposed to have color. <laughs> you want color? Talk to Lena Horn. <laughs> if that's the doctor, tell him I have no insurance and no money. If he still wants to come in, he just wants to see me naked. <laughs> what am I, two years old? I don't know my own symptoms. I've lived in this body since I was born. If something goes wrong, I'm the first one to hear about it. I'm sorry, Sophia. What seems to be the problem? What, am I a doctor? <laughs> Why don't we start by taking your temperature, huh? Temperature? Hmm. He must have graduated at the top of his class. <laughs> Sicily, 1912. Picture this. Two young girls, best friends, who shared three things. A pizza recipe, some dough, and a dream. Everything is going great until one day, a fast-talking pepperoni salesman gallops into town. Of course, both girls are impressed. He dates one one night, the other the next night. Pretty soon, he drives a wedge between them. Before you know it, the pizza suffers, the business suffers, the friendship suffers. The girls part company and head for America never to see one another again. Rose, one of those girls was me. The other one you probably know is Mama Celeste. <laughs> Sophia, what's the point? The point is, I lost a fortune! <laughs> Well, what does that have to do with getting Dorothy and Blanche back together? Nothing. I told you. Stay out of it. I can't. I can't just stand by and watch this happen. I've got to do something. That might work, too. I should have given him some money. You should have given him a smack. Wow. I don't believe in hitting children. Personally, I like to lay into a kid with a melon ball. It's got a nice weight. Good balance in the hand, and it's portable. <laughs> you were so cute. You were always so polite when you woke me. Mommy, I'm having a bad dream. Could I come in? <laughs> I felt so safe with you. Listen, I felt safe with you when you were three. And you always used to smell from, um, 
Well, what am I supposed to do for the next two weeks? Just sit around and listen to your arteries harden? <gasps> you stop that. You know something? I am having a real problem with your attitude. Oh, really? Well, you can all just kiss my attitude. <laughs> You wouldn't let me get the melon balls, so I improvised. <laughs> Is that all you Italians know how to do? Scream and hit? No, we also know how to make love and sing opera. <laughs> Mom, you had no right to hit him. What now, Blanche? Come on, I'm I'm from New York. I did chores. I made the beds, I washed the dishes, scoured the pots, cleaned the bathroom, folded the laundry, took out the garbage. My, my, did you attend a military school? <laughs> no, she lived with me. <laughs> did they have chores in Sicily? Are you kidding? They invented chores in Sicily. <laughs> Crossing the street without getting pregnant was a chore in Sicily. <laughs> It'll hurt less. <laughs> I know, I do everything better than you. Mm, if this sauce was a person, I'd get naked and make love to her. <laughs> hey, Ma. Mind up. It's him. Want me to get it? No, if he sees me sitting, he'll think I have arthritis. Sophia? Augustine? <laughs> You shrunk. <laughs> no, I, and a gentleman. Every time I leave the table, he tries to stand up. Uh. I'll show you who's not the woman she used to be. Come on, Blanche. I'm Rose. <laughs> Simple mistake means nothing. Go get him, darling. Go get him good. They cleaned me out, took everything I owned. All I have is what I have on. They took your clothes? My clothes, my shoes, girdle, everything. Thank God I'm insured. Ma, why in the world would they want your clothes? Who knows? Short girl robber? Travels a lot? Likes strip dry? <laughs> it's okay, I'm thrilled. I hated my clothes. I need new clothes. They didn't take them, Ma. You hid them. Now, where are your clothes? Maybe I buried them. I don't like anything in my house that doesn't know how to use the toilet. <laughs> See ya. Oh, no, Sophia! No! Ma! Some attack dog. He hit under the table, peed on the floor, and ran out the back. <laughs> Three and one is four, and ten is fourteen, and a double letter score is eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-three, and a triple word score makes a total of 69 points, I win. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There is no such word as that. There certainly is. Fine, I'll look it up. And if it isn't in the dictionary, I win. We don't have a dictionary. Yes, we do. Not anymore, the robbers took it. They stole our dictionary? That's right, too bad. <laughs> Ma, disdam is not a word. You made it up. It's a word. Fine. Use it in a sentence. You're no good at this damn game. <laughs> <laughs> Sophia! Oh, um... Um... Uh, Ma, uh, this is, uh, this is uh, Rose's friend, the Dr. Jonathan Newman. Uh, Dr. Newman, this is my mother, Sophia. Nice to meet you, Sophia. Nice to meet you, too. I hope this doesn't sound rude. Oh. <laughs> but I've just gotten back from a long trip, and I'm very tired. If you'll excuse me. Of course. Nice to have met you. Likewise. Dorothy, can I see you for a minute? <laughs> Yes, Ma, what is it? That guy over there, is he a midget? Yes. Thank God, I thought I was having another stroke. Uh, Blanche, do you know what a bubble is? I know what a bubble is. <laughs> I know what it is. I've had a bubble. In your head. Ma, you know, you don't look good. I'm short and I'm old. What did you expect, Princess Die? <laughs> I think we should all. You were there? Don't tell me where I went. I went to heaven. 
I saw the golden light and some angels in white robes with harps. I thought I was at Saks at Christmas, but then I saw your father. Really? He was surrounded by women. He's in heaven. <laughs> Did you see God and Jesus? They were busy. I think I'll go back. Ma, don't go. No, Dorothy. It's a wonderful place. I'm very excited about it. Ma, I want you here. Sophia, are there lots of men in heaven? Oh, Blanche. <laughs> I'd like to know. Dorothy, get me my rosary. I'll be right back. Listen, Sophia. What about men? Are there lots of men in heaven? Oh, Blanche, come on. Well, you asked her about God and Jesus. <laughs> Is there anything else we can get you, Sophia? A little tea, perhaps? I'm not in England. I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> Keep her company. I'm going to help Dorothy. Or maybe Washington, D.C. You're moving, Rose? Too bad. This would be touching if I liked you more. <laughs> I'm not moving, Sophia. The three of us are planning a vacation together. Without me? Well, we were hoping that maybe you'd stay here and watch the house. Why don't you take the house? I'll stay here and watch the hole in the ground. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hi, Ma. Brooke Shields takes her mother everywhere. <laughs> she just found out about our vacation. We thought you were going to tell her, Dorothy. Oh, well, I was waiting for the right moment. You know, like right after we landed in New York. <laughs> New York? <coughs> New Yorkers are all sickos. <laughs> we could go to Hollywood. Sure, good choice. No sickos there. <laughs> Does he have a friend for Dorothy? Oh. We know this is last minute, so we'll take short, bald, fat... I'm sorry, Sophia, but I've already pawned Rose off on his fat friend. <laughs> He's a lighting director. Blanche, I've never been out with a fat lighting director. I should have known you couldn't make it without me. You're right, I can't. And neither can Blanche, and neither can Rose. Of course not, Rose. The woman can hardly find her way to work. <laughs> 